Hey, what up guys? This is SPD Ghost 408. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use OBS or open broadcast software to record your DAISY standalone gameplay. Um, first things first, uh, first thing you're going to have to do is go to this website, um, httpsobsproject.com, and go ahead and download. It's a quick download, easy download. I'm not going to show you how to download something. Um, pretty much obsproject.com and download. So once when you download the software, this is what you're going to get. This gray box right here, the only difference is, is your two white boxes right here and here are going to be completely empty. So the first thing you're going to have to do is create a scene. So what you will do is you will right click and then left click on add scene. You can name this scene whatever you want. I'm not going to add that because I already have my two scenes created. Um, but once when you have the scene created, so for example, I just created the word scene, the first one right here. Once when you have the scene created, you're going to want to come over to the second box and you're going to want to right click and then left click on add and then go down to game capture. Once when you go to game capture, you can name this whatever you want. So just for the sake of this, we're going to name it day Z. Uh, at this point, you're going to have to select the application that you want the game capture to record. So you're going to have to open up DayZ. So if you haven't done so already, DayZ is going to need to be opened. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and double click on DayZ, open it up, and then refresh this, and it will automatically select and select DayZ in your list. Um, go ahead and check Capture Mouse Cursor and press OK. And once that's done, uh, you're going to want to go through your settings. So we're going to click on Settings, General. Uh, English, if you speak English, if you speak another language, uh, plenty of options for you. Encoding. It automatically defaults at X264. You're going to want to have um, CBR checked and CBR padding checked. And your max bit rate is dependent on your upload internet connection. So um, if you want to go to speedtest.net and test your upload speed, whatever your upload speed is, I upload around 5 megabits per second. So I have mine set at 5,000 kilobits per second. That automatically enters in a buffer of 5,000 kilobits per second. For my audio settings, I have my bitrate at 320 at 48 hertz in stereo. So now with your broadcast settings, you have two options. Um, you can either live stream to a YouTube Twitch TV, whatever. I never use that. I just use the file output only, which lets you specify a location to save your videos. So I have it going to this location with the video name daisy.mp4. I use hotkeys to start and stop my recordings. And uh, so for my start recorded hotkey, I have insert. And to stop the recording, I have the end key on my keyboard. So then we'll go down to my video settings. Uh, my video settings, I have my uh, NVIDIA GeForce um, GT630 selected. I am rec I'm, my base resolution is 1920 by 1080. But what I am recording the videos at, I am recording at one and a half scale. So I'm downgrading the video to 1280 by 720 um, at 30 frames per second. I find this um, saves a lot of storage space on your hard drive as well as makes your uploads to YouTube a lot quicker. And, um, like I said, the videos the videos look really good. We'll go over to audio. Audio is dependent. The only thing you really have to worry about is you have to select your default audio device. I just have it set at default. And your microphone. Everything else, you can just leave as is. I don't have any hotkeys to turn my microphone on and off. And for the advanced settings, I think this is default. I didn't change anything on this screen right here. So, okay. So, you have your scene set up. Um, you have your game capture set up, and now you're pretty much ready to go. Ready to go. You're not going to have the monitor capture screen. I'm just using that to capture the monitor to show you guys how to use this software. So just pretend that the scene two and the monitor capture is not here, and just pretend that you have one scene and one game capture um, on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to this scene with this Daisy game capture and my screen is going to go black. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to open up Daisy. Now right here 
is where it would say start recording. So before you start recording, you can either use your hotkey or whatever. But me, I usually, before I open up Daisy, I will press start streaming or start recording and then open up Daisy. Since I'm already recording, I'm going to skip that step and I'm going to go ahead. The screen is going to go black and now I'm going to open up Daisy. And now here is me at the start screen. I can go ahead and change server, select whatever server I want to join, and join in to DayZ and start playing. So, actually, just for the sake of doing it, let's go ahead and do it. So now here I am inside of the game. Right now I'm over by the below the airfield. So there you go. So let me go ahead and find a little hiding spot real quick. Because after all, this is just a tutorial video. I'm not in here playing right now. So let me uh, hide for a second. Get back out of the server. Go ahead and let me Alt Tab, and I will switch back to monitor view. So, all right, guys, so that's pretty much on how to use OBS to record your DayZ gameplay. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more DayZ videos in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is SPD Ghost 408. I'm out.